So Bo Jackson, heard of him? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He claims he ran a 4.13 40-yard dash at the 1986 Combine. Our very own NFL Network's Deion Sanders claims that he ran a sub 4.2 40-yard dash at the Combine and then never looked back, literally never looked back. Who was the better legendary athlete of the two? Is it Deion or Bo? Sorry in advance, not sorry. Go ahead, man. This I, is a ridiculous question. I'd rather push one of my friends off a cliff than <laughs> choose a trip. I'm sorry, guys. Give me the what? asteroid? Yeah, you're right, Kay. Give me the asteroid. This is like asking me to choose between my grandmothers. I, I can't really do it, but I'll... Grandma I'll, Dion and I'll, Grandma Bob. Yeah. <laughs> I'll break it down like this. Dion was everything that his name said. It, it was prime time. Mm -hmm. Everywhere he went with the curl and the chains and the yeah. athletic ability, the speed, the power he played with, the grace... He played on the field and on the diamond with. He was one of the best ever. But when you're asking legendary status, Woo. I'm going to have to go with Bo Jackson. And, and, and here's the thing. I'll say he tips the scales in a way, literally tips the scales. Dion was 200 pounds. Bo was 230. Yep. One of the fastest humans to ever hit this planet. And his runs, his longest runs in his career, even though it was only four years and he had that hip injury that we all hated, 91 yards, 92, and 88. When he had the video game, Bo Jackson, mm -hmm. and we thought, this is unrealistic. No, no, no. My brother had that where you flipped it over. Yes, it, baseball football. It, 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 was, it, it was Bo playing video game in real life. So I'm going with Bo Jackson. Okay. That's as tough as it gets, though. Back in 89, when we signed the dotted line, people make fun of Dion's album. I had it. I knew every single <laughs> word of it. I bought it when I was 14 years old. I took it dead serious. He was yeah. my idol, and then Bo was the other guy. So... I'm, this is very, very hard for me. I did find something that kind of swings it. I think Dion himself is sort of weighed in. Dion told a story, I think it was on Dan Patrick, when he was an 18-year-old freshman at Florida State, they played Auburn, they played Bo, and Dion tells a story that they ran a sweep away from him with Bo, other side of the field, and Dion's like, but I can fly, so I cut up with him, and I went to tackle him. When I went to tackle him, he put his hand out, on my helmet and palmed my helmet like he was praying for me and then pushed me down into the ground. And that's my Bo Jackson experience. He seems to go with Bo. And then there's also a great exhibit that Hammer found online. Last month, someone asked, it's Black History Month, who are some of the great black athletes of all time? Can we show Deion Sanders' tweet in response to this? Deion straight up said, Bo Jackson, no questions asked, no explanation. Deion Sanders is my favorite athlete of all time. I believe Bo Jackson is the greatest. Peter Schrager, sorry to put you in this difficult situation out in Indianapolis, but tell me if I'm wrong. Deion Sanders went to a World Series, and he went to a Super Bowl. Yes. Bo Jackson didn't do that. What do you think? Deion went to a few of them. Well, Bo didn't play with Steve Young, or he didn't play with Trey Aikman. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, <laughs> Here we I go. Know. Okay. I'm still, I mean, Trey, I'm trying to wrap my head around the fact that there were these two legends just going back and forth playing both sports at the same time. It's madness. I can't even imagine what that would look like today. That's crazy. And Kay, it was in the same era. So you had your right. Bo Nose guys, you know, mm -hmm. Bo Nose and all those commercials. And then you had Primetime, who had his whole other thing going on. One of them was going on in L.A., which was the center of the universe at the time. The other one was going on in Atlanta, which was the center of the East Coast at the time, with the hip-hop culture booming. So you've got pop culture stuff coming. You've got athleticism. I'm going Dion. Mm -hmm. I'm going Dion because I feel like Dion has set the standard for cornerback play in the NFL. And I'm saying that Dion mm. also was a very accomplished baseball player for those Atlanta Braves teams. And he played in big moments. Sorry, Tim McCarver. That's just how it is. So you've got <laughs> Dion here. He played wide receiver, obviously, in plays. He also kick return. He punt return. Deion Sanders is a pro football Hall of Famer and viewed as the greatest defensive back of his generation. Bo Jackson is maybe the greatest athlete of all time, but when you're talking about accomplished players, Deion Sanders is on the first ballot cornerbacks in NFL history. Bo Jackson probably doesn't make the list of first ballot running backs in NFL history. I'm going with prime time. One day I will ball, and one day I will get the call, ah. and I will have a better <laughs> voice than I do today. So is it, is it, would this be like if Odell, is, that, is it even... Were they even better? Like Odell and Antonio Brown? Not even comparable. Played, really? Yeah, they, they, they're even better. I mean, there's yeah, no, no I mean, they both they, played baseball Odell, at a high level. Odell, I mean, Odell they're the two and best Antonio the Brown. Yeah. So, Odell, Odell, and Antonio give me an Brown example. Give me an like, example you know, in the current it, NFL. It would be if, if it would be Cam, an equivalent of if Le, I would like to go here. Go ahead. 
LeBron James okay. played football. That's what it would be. Honestly, That's, it's that wow. big. It, it would be that big a name in the culture and how it is. Odell and Antonio, they're great players. They don't even scratch the surface of pop culture relevance of what Dion and Bo were back when we yeah. were in the 90s. It's true. And, Peter, be careful on your six. I think Tim McCarver is going to dump uh, a pail of water over your head in the middle of this <laughs> interview. Yeah. Just watch out for that. I also, I'd like to you ask like that, this. Dion? I know. <laughs> You're a real man. I, I know that Dion's on the network. I don't know what Dion and Bo's relationship is. I, I don't know if they're yeah. friends. I don't know if they're good. I remember years ago, uh, Dick Schapp wrote Bo Jackson's book, and Bo was quoted as saying, Dion's crackers don't sit well in my bowl of soup, which was this weird, weird way of yeah. saying they didn't drive. So I would ask, I don't know if they're friends, if they're in contact. I hope they are, because they're too great. And I'll add this, being that I love the business of sports, Bo changed the landscape of Nike. There's three athletes. It's Michael Jordan, of yep. course, and then right. Bo Jackson came along and flipped that whole brand upside down. And every single athlete, including LeBron James, have been riding the wave ever since. And, and Tiger. of course, Dion. Yep. And Tiger. And, Tiger. and Dion is in the middle of that as well. But Bo Jackson, game changer for Nike. We, Absolute game changer. We